Hello. And today, I'm at Kirby Commercials on the Orsister Road at Portway. And I'm showing you a Spanish based, practically rip off company of Land Rover. This is called the Santana PS10. And in case you can't notice, it's a much cheaper, and depending on who you speak to, perhaps even a better version of the Land Rover Defender. However, I'm not saying that. So in case there are any Land Rover organisations, I'm sorry. This is a 2.8 turbo diesel engine, which is a very nice engine for this truck. And it suits the truck quite well, which makes it sporty and powerful enough to toaster. As you get into the cabin, I'm sorry to say, but it is as uncomfortable as a Land Rover Defender. So Santana have got that bit right. One thing, it's not as well as, as equipped as a Defender, but it has enough stuff and it's got lots of storage space all around the vehicle, so you can carry little bits of bobs whilst you're at work, or even at leisure whilst driving this vehicle. Let's start it up. Very nice. It starts straight up. Very nice. Like I said, it's a very powerful engine and you can tell that this truck really wants to just go. It's a five speed manual Monster Gear 6 is not as smooth as the Defenders. It's better placed, I think, and it's more there where you want it to be. This also has a pretty good off road capability, but obviously cannot quite match the Defenders. If you pull it back, you get high range, and as you can see there, the light comes on as well as neutral and low range four wheel drive but I won't put it in there as you have to be moving it's got, it's got a pretty big steering wheel to be fair which is comfortable to hold although personally I don't think it looks the best as I'm not sure if you know but it looks quite similar to the Majestic's lorry steering wheel as in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and it's not the most comfortable thing to hold, really. It's got little bits and bobs around the cabin. And the seats are full leather, which are also very comfortable to sit in. And if the ride along the field or even some some of the British roads to be fair gets a little bit bumpy the leather seat can definitely support you and you can get a comfortable seating position whilst driving this beast along I'll turn it off has very nice side steps on both sides to help entry into the vehicle a little bit easier and give, to give that rugged look as well with huge front bumpers 
it has that defender look, but I think it looks a bit more, well, it has that little bit more of a look of a G-Wagon as well as the Land Rover and definitely looks quite beefy. Just look at that front hood. There you can see the tow bar. And as you enter into the back, it's pretty easy. You just pull the tail lift back. And there. You can get straight away and load your items into the back. It's quite high off the ground, so if you were using this for farming use, you'd need quite an athletic sheepdog, I think, to sit in the back. It's got large loading space, and as you can see, a full-sized spare rear tyre as well. It looks particularly good, I think, and I do like the beefy, rugged look at Santana. I've given this PS10. And I think the blue on white looks pretty good to be fair. That's it for today. If you like this review, or you'd like to check out our review of the Land Rover Defender, then please subscribe to our channel or just check out our reviews. Thanks for watching.